Well, it happened again. My little scheme to celebrate with those on my LinkedIn account by giving them free stock worked out again, and we both get to celebrate with free stock. I'm going to share that experience with you in this video. But before I get started, let me introduce myself. My name is Paul Vasquez JD. That's how you can find me on the internet, internet uh, on the YouTube. And that's with two Z's, V-A-Z-Q-U-E-Z. -E I am the president of Tax Lab Pro Business Solutions, co-founder in the Singularity Network and inventor of the hat tech. Right there, how about that? Look at that. So yeah, we'll, we'll get into that some other day, but uh, that's not the reason why I want to talk to you today. We had another free stock, and I actually, I once again, I used that little link, LinkedIn hack, and uh, I'll put the link here uh, somewhere uh, to get you to that link so you can see how this is done, but I'll bet you can even figure it out from this video. So let's see which stock I get. I'm going to hit record here on the phone and then pop it up in the editing process. So I just went to the rewards area. We're going to hit here, I think, past. Ah, and here we go. A referral from Lynette G. Now, Lynette G turns out to, I believe, to be one of my LinkedIn connections. And so, uh, yeah, what I did was I sent a message to her and, and, uh, yeah, it says, happy birthday. Here's some free stock. I didn't even tell her I was going to celebrate with her that time, but you know, uh, Hey, she got that free stock that was actually sent back in August of last year. It is the mid, mid to end April. It's of the following year so it's been a while but they finally they finally decided to celebrate w together on this to celebrate with claiming that free sock stock so let's let's see what we get mmm here's the little scratch off uno dos tres cuatro cinco seis we're gonna go for the first one here first one and and come on there we go there we go here we are that is, oh, congratulations with confetti. It's worth $3.71. That's, that's actually seems kind of high these days. <laughs> this is Cleveland Cliffs. Haven't heard much about them. So that's what it wants me to invite more friends. But uh, we'll stop. Stop. Yes. All right. So let's 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 do this. I like actually looking at the Nasdaq these days to uh to take a look to see here. So uh yeah, let's let's do another little whoop screen share. We'll take a look at the Nas Nasdaq. Nasdaq, there it is. Not Naruto, NASDAQ. Okay, and let's see here. Should be able to check in on a stock. A little here. What stock was that again? It was CLF. That's right. So we'll just type that here. C L F. If you double click on your capitalize button there, It'll keep it on permanently. Don't know if you knew that, but just a fun little tip for you. CLF, CLF, right there. That's the one I want. Okay, that's that's about what it is. Now remember, the price that they give it to us at isn't the price we're going to get it at because it has this settling period where the uh, where it could fluctuate. Okay, wow. Over the first day, and we know stocks are kind of crazy right now. This one's down six months. Let's let's go out to the max, though. I want to kind of check to see how this one is doing. Let's put this over here, right? How this one is doing over time. And it it looks like since 
Um, since its inception, it's down. But over the last five five years, it's uh, it's been kind of stable ish, kind of stable ish. Um, basic industries not telling me a whole lot about what this thing is about, and it's trying to give me ads here. There's some news. Okay. Founded in 1847, Cleveland Cliffs, Inc. is the largest, oldest independent iron ore mining company. Ooh. Uh, I believe they call this a commodity. Uh, yeah, iron ore mining company. That doesn't sound too bad of a thing to be. I know they're going to use energy to do that. I don't invest directly in energy companies, but the, you know they could they could switch to solar mining, maybe battery powered mining. That's how we that's that's how we do it. Now let's see how we're going to get to find out. There should be. I'm used to doing this on dividend history. There we are. Uh okay. No, what is... Oh, that's an ad. Get out of my face. Dividend history. There we go. Dividend history. Ooh, we got a little bit of a dividend. Payout ratio. Let's see. Dividend yield, 6.32%. Not too shabby. 24 cents uh, a share uh, there. Paid annual annual dividend. That's annually. So this is paid out annually. Payout ratio three point five. It looks like no. This looks quarterly. Looks like it's paid out quarterly. So it's got a quarterly dividend. And uh, maybe we have to turn this sideways or something to get the the full effect here. We got the declaration date. So so what I'm looking for is the actual uh, cash amount there. That they're dropping out on this thing. Six dollar six cents, six cents, ten, six, five, five, fifteen, fifteen, fifteen. Uh going back. So uh eh, not not too fluctuating. A little bit it's a little bit down, but it was down before. So I mean it it's not amazing, but it's good to have some variety. I think right now this is a keep for me. I'm gonna hold on to this uh because it's good to have some diversification. And that's not too bad of a of a dividend uh, rate uh, either way. So I, so for me, this is a keeper. Um, I encourage you guys to go out there and celebrate with others and invite them to your uh, profiles and 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 affiliate links. Uh, so that way we can all stay together and save strong.